Easy now, folks. Bought another filter here, so figured it would be a good time to go through it with you. It is the Eheim Pickup 160. I've got a 45 sitting next to it. I've got a couple of these, and I really, really like them. So that's why I keep buying more. There's a uh, kind of information you'd expect to find on the side in different languages. I'll not go through that. You can pause that if you want to have a wee look. But it comes in four sizes. The 45, 60, 160 and 200. So again you can pause that and decide which is best for your size tank. I've got the 160 as a secondary filter on a big tank here. So we'll get the box open and see what we find inside. And basically there's four things that you're going to pull out. We got the main filter and the wire and then you've got the pamphlet that always comes with it personally these days. Saving trees in it, I don't know why we'd bother. Suction cups that are nicely packaged, as you can see, and one more bag of weed parts. And that is it. They make it nice and easy for you, very uncomplicated and easy to get your head around. So if we take the top off, that's where you'll find your filter media, which is a sponge in these. As you can see, that fills the whole chamber. And then you've got your shaft and your impeller at the bottom. Really the only time you're going to need to access this is if you need to give it a bit of a clean when you're doing some maintenance. Just slots in there, that's where the water gets drawn in through the grill in the bottom. Up through the filter, through the sponge and then out the top. Nearly forgot to put the sponge in there. Assembling the suction cups is straightforward, you just put them on the wee clip there, which fits into the sl shaped slots in the back, easy peasy. And then all you've got to worry about is your Venturi, which is going to allow you to add air bubbles to your water if you want it. And there's only two parts to that, so you just stick the top into the tube which is well it's a nice tight fit that's not going to come loose at any stage you really need to push that in so that's nice and secure and then just slot that on the top there again it just pushes into place the wee dial on top allows you to adjust the flow depending how much air you want to allow through and there's a wee marker on there that shows you which direction to turn it then you've got your directional adjuster there, so that's where the water's going to return back into the aquarium and you can turn it pretty much any direction you want. So you can adjust your flow exactly how you want it. Best to get it pretty much where you want it before you put it in, but you can adjust it while it's in place as well. If we want a closer look at this sponge here for a minute, it's really good, it's really good quality. It's not too coarse, but coarse enough. You can see it's quite thick, it's not gonna allow much through. Put my finger through the middle there and you can't see it at all. Well made, collects everything that you want it to collect and really, really does a job. Slots in there nice and easy. And is held in place by the prongs that run through the middle. And of course we replace the top again. I mean, it's really good build quality it feels solid and i like the look of them admittedly green is my favorite color i don't know if that maybe helps but it looks like something that's not out of place in an aquarium i kind of feel especially if you keep planted aquariums like myself because obviously the green kind of blends in but we'll have a look at the filter once it's in a tank in a minute one more consideration you've got is the choice of how you want the wire to stick out at the back. You've got your three positions out the top, 
the left or the right. Now that's going to depend on which direction you want it to run in, right? But what they give you is these tiny wee clips here. Now they kind of block off the left and the right holes depending which way you choose and that kind of ensures you don't get any fish or shrimp or snails going there to investigate things and find it difficult to get back out. Nice wee safety feature there. Maintenance wise it couldn't be easier, you just pop the top off like that. Obviously you don't need to remove the filter from a tank to do that, I've only done this for this demonstration purposes. But you just whip your sponge out and squeeze it out in some aquarium water. Obviously we're not using tap water because it will kill the bacteria in the sponge. And you can do it a couple of times if you want to get it really clean but that's enough for me. A good few squeezes to get most of the debris out. And then just pop it straight back into your filter and put the top on. We're even going to use this aquarium water, I mean, this dirty aquarium water. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that. We're going to throw it in this sorry looking rose bush here. The plants are going to love the nitrates that are in that water we squeezed out there. Doing a power of good, so it will. And there we go, this is a 45 running on this wee tank here. As you can tell, the shrimp are quite happy with it. They don't get sucked into the grill or anything. And it's not that powerful that it's blowing them about or anything. Quite suitable for a wee shrimp tank, the 45. And here's the 160 on the bigger tank. I've left the bubbles running so you can see what the flow's like again. Gets your water moving but doesn't necessarily blow everything about. Picks up all the gunk out of your tank. And like I said, I kind of feel like it suits. If you've got to have a filter in your tank, it doesn't look too out of place. I'm a big fan of these filters. I really like them. If you've got any questions, put them below and I'll do my best to answer. Or maybe somebody else will be able to help us out. And as a buy the buy. This is that rosa next day, look, doing much better already, looking much healthier now we've added that water to it. Right, that's me, I'm out. Later, 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 later.